This episode is brought to you by our good friends at Squarespace. What a day at the swap meet. Every once in a while, we like to take you guys behind the scenes and show you guys what we found. It's been years since any sort of like pickup style video, but if we had any excuse, this is one of those days. In fact, I will say of all this stuff that we're gonna show you guys, there's like, this is like 20% of it. This is just some of the really cool stuff that we had to show you guys. Look at this mint condition NES Advantage. So I'm at the swap meet and I see this beautiful NES Advantage and I'm talking like that, that how you want it to look, NES Advantage. This is one of those boxes, I admit, when I see them, a lot of times they're just faded out. I don't know why, but you can see this is clean, has all the foam and everything. And when I'm looking at this, I knew we were gonna rob somebody because we were getting good deals. In fact, that's why the alarms are going off right now. But when I saw this, I got excited and I looked over at Curtis Son of a gun. This is just a little bit of a glimpse of what he saw looking at me over at the truck. And I know his heart dropped a little bit. He's like, oh, I was seconds away. That's what his head was thinking. But I'm going to tell you right now, I uh, it was so dark out, I just see one box. And I opened that box, and instantly I picked up the box, brought it over to the truck, and I told the guy how much for the games or the boxes. So he goes out, he starts just counting 20 bucks at a time, each thing. And I'm like, Dude, somebody's getting waxed. <laughs> this season, as Dusty says. So, you know, it's pretty awesome. I couldn't believe it. And, and don't get me wrong, I was very happy. Very happy for Curtis. I wasn't like, let me try to get in on this. You want to go halves? Liar! You know I was <laughs> happy for you. I, know, I, know. I was 100% happy for him, giving him high fives, all the jazz. But I couldn't believe it. Kung Fu, The Goonies 2, Bayou Billy, Kid Icarus, Rad Racer, DuckTales, Super Mario 2, Metroid, and Tennis. Pretty much all for 20 bucks each. And if you look at any of these games, besides being great games, besides being awesome, fun times, look at that. Complete. Real complete. Beautiful. Look at the Clint. My goodness. Just the fun, too, on these games. I would say that pretty much all of these games are games that I like to play. I mean, even games like Bayou Billy, which doesn't get as much love. I used to play this as a kid. One of my favorite sound effects in the game, too, is when you get hit or when you die, it goes, Ugh! Very fun sound effect. Uh, also, multiple different styles of gameplay. Look, you see the little side scoring platformer, driving levels, water, all different things to keep you having fun. I couldn't believe it. it. It's been a long time since at the swap meet, I've looked over one of my buddies. We always score, let's be honest, week after week. We're very thankful, very blessed. But this wasn't like nobody was holding it for us. Nobody was like trying to give us a deal. Nobody was like, wait, hey guys, we saved this for you. Hey, you're a normal guy, buy from us. It was just like, boom, 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 happened. Curtis was there and I couldn't believe it, man. And I'm so happy for him. What a, what a fun, fun find. Will your family be the first to witness the birth of the incredible Nintendo Entertainment System. So one game that I was like really excited to see was, I saw Metroid, but I saw on the back it was the silver, and it's the tab version of it. So I was like, oh, that's an older box. So I was like, oh, I was super excited. And then underneath it was probably one of my favorite games for the NES, which was Kid Icarus. One thing that I really remember is playing on the Skyward Fortress. And I don't want to sound dumb, but it's stage three or four, and you're leading up to that. You're going up the st you're going up the, the map. You can put a little gameplay if you want, but um, and then you end up reaching Pandora the boss. That was one of my favorite battles. It's one I remember the most. Shooting the arrows, getting past it, and you're just like, oh, I'm not very good at NES. We all know that, <laughs> but this is one of the games I really loved. And I was like, dang, I, I finally can get it. CIB. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no words for something I found there. So we've been buying stuff from lockers from this lady who was a great friend of ours now who has a ton of stuff, which we'll show you guys, from movie production studios. We're, we started out with the Sid Haig stuff, gone to, to He-Man, gone to Batman, gone to all this different stuff movie related. And I find something that I think is unreal. And I can't, unreal. I cannot find them anywhere online. Uh, my Beatle fans, please rejoice with me. Most people, when I showed them this after that I found this, they were freaking out and they said these exact words. How did you know that was Beatles? 
How did you know that was Beatles? I know the songs help. Everybody would, everybody probably saw these already and passed them, not knowing they were Beatles. Help. Well, help. The Beatles song in the Beatles movie is spelled with an exclamation mark. These are Beatles reels, original. And check out the size on these puppies. I am a huge Beatle guy. Ooh, man. So, what's interesting is one of my friends was there and was able to, he knows more about the stuff, he can handle the stuff a little better. He was able to kind of pop it out, check for it, look inside through one of the film reels and see that yes, it was in fact the movie Help. If you guys don't know, the movie from the Beatles is called Help. It's a fantastic movie. It's actually a movie that I generally, genuinely love. Seen it a ton of times. I can quote the heck out of it. One of my favorite scenes from it is You Got to Hide Your Love Away. Fantastic scene. I cannot believe I found these. I text these to Beatle fans, movie fans, real fans, and I can say unanimously, everybody freaked out and said, holy mother, they're not anywhere on the internet and you have them. I can't believe it. As a Beatle guy and a collector, this is just unreal. All right, I have to show you guys one of the coolest things Curtis picked up that he's ever picked up. Curtis, Dude. you gotta show the grail. All <laughs> right, so many. So just, just a little bit of a preference. Who's yes. that? How, how did I you know. get there? How did All you right. get here? So I looked at the front of this. It says Loot Police right here. Yep. It has a date and it also has a date at the end of like how long that book was for, for like about six months. And I looked up who Loot Police was and he worked on multiple Bangers. And yeah, multiple animations, Animaniacs, Gargoyles, Lord of the Rings, and I honestly think that he had a lot to do with a lot of comics, like in the Marvel sphere, because as you look through it, you got this is unreal, by the yeah. way. It is his own personal sketchbook of every single show he's pretty much worked on, and in a little bit, some of it's actually pretty dark, but like awesome artwork, and it's full. Like I think it's maybe like over 200 pages of just straight wow. sketches. Like look at that green cobble. I haven't even got to look yeah. through this yet myself. And I, me and my dad actually went through it. It was a really good experience. My dad's all calling him out, and it was like, it was a really, one of those moments where I'm like, man, I can finally kind of connect like in a different sphere of like swap meeting with my dad, and it was like oh, a really awesome. awesome feeling. So I this was probably my favorite find of the day because I am in love with art. So, and not like the painting art, sorry. But uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> Why'd you have to clap? Be, because the, the painting art's way more, worth way more, and I don't understand, and I, and I don't understand why. So, you know, and, and, and honestly, the art is just unreal in this thing, and it just it just goes on. Like, it just, uh, unreal. speechless unreal. when I got it. Uh, this next thing, I couldn't believe when I found it, and it's funny because I think everybody passed up on it, and maybe you guys won't even notice uh, in the beginning. So there was a movie in 94 called Sphere. Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, Samuel L. Jackson, big banger, called Sphere. And I saw this on the table, and I'm like, interesting, what could this be from Sphere? Then I see these two holes right here, and I immediately know, and I felt pretty smart, because I'm gonna be honest, nobody else caught onto it. It's from the chair. Movie directors get these chairs, celebrity stars get these chairs, producers get these chairs. Andrew Wald, is that backwards? <laughs> Andrew Wald was the producer for Sphere. This all came from the same locker that we've talked about, all the Hollywood stuff. This was the producer chair for Sphere. This is the kind of stuff that sets collecting apart for me because what I like to envision, I don't like to be like, oh cool, this is the, the guy that did Sphere and it's super cool. I picture this. I picture him sitting in the chair, his back against this, Sharon Stone in front of him, Samuel L. Jackson in front of him, Dustin Hoffman in front of him, giving them directions, helping move the movie along, saying things that change the outcome of the movie. That's the kind of stuff that I'm telling you, that is what makes collecting fun. We're finding this stuff that's just, it's all, one of a kind and it's all the kind of stuff that just keeps me thinking every week when it's 4 30 and i'm tired and i'm going it's my day off i'm getting up to go look for more stuff i don't really know anything about this stuff so tell me about this Curtis. so i will yeah. say though before yeah. you say anything i used to watch little lulu oh really a lot yeah. and i used to watch lamb chop yeah i, I just picked them up because i was like you know i gotta save the paper you know i know the lone, lone ranger, ranger i knew lassie and i knew underdog Let's those go. are like the ones i was like oh sick and then i, I really like old photos I think this is really rad. I'm gonna try to look up like who would have been the writer, but it's, there's a couple from the 1970s. So it's like on the back, you could tell right here when the date was when it was taken. So I'm gonna do my research on it. I do a couple things. These are some like the really good pickups. Really cool was a couple photos that actually weren't supposed to be released for Rush Hour 3. They were on set photos. Wow. So you got Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Wow. I forget who the lady is. In the I always photo. forget her name too. But 
honestly cool because it actually says it like not, well, upside down. Wait, but hold it, hold. There it is. Yeah, personal use only, so not, not for, for publication. And I have a pretty good stack of these, so you know, I was like, cool, I gotta save those too. And then the last thing that I was really hyped about. <laughs> Okay, so there's two things. The Empire Strike Back, it was more of like, this was more of like a little kit that I'd give out probably during like one of the films during the 1980s. And then oh, a sign. I'm jealous of this one. Photo I'm of jealous. the monsters. Sign. Yes. And wait, Curtis, I'm a commenter in the comments. You don't know that that's real. Oh, How do I know oh, that that's real? Oh, hey, that's Hanks. Fake. I'm doing a little Phoenix homage Risa. to Phoenix yeah. Risa. Hey, you don't gonna tell me. I have no idea. Sign pictures right there. So Boom, that was in there. I'm gonna tell you right now, I was stoked when I saw that. I was like, let's go! It's funny, we have found so many cool things, but that's probably one of the things I was most jealous of. We gotta get that to AVGN, bro. To the angry video game nerd. He would appreciate it. Yeah. Show it to the world. Show it to the world. Many people would tell you, don't buy this box. It's a piece of junk. Look at this box up close. Beat up GameCube box, but I'm telling y'all, don't leave this stuff in the dust, all right? A lot of times, if you leave it in the dust, it's gonna turn to dust. Don't let it turn to dust and rust. You do the best of busts and turn it into your house item. Words. I bought this, picked it up, because it looked like it was going nowhere. It looked like it was gonna it was gonna die with the world, and I couldn't let myself let that happen. I didn't even get it for a good deal. I admit, I didn't get it for a good deal. Straight up had to rescue it. Now I gotta get a shirt pressed to this thing and flatten it out so it looked perfect, crispy, and clean, you know. GameCube controller, all the jazz, 100 bucks with the box, but the box beat up, still a good deal. I'll take it, I'll take it all day, I'll take it, I'll take it all day. You give it away now. Give it away, you give it away, you give it away now. Give it away. Uh, if I guess video gets more than 2,000 comments, I'll give this away. Maybe. So, we we're at the same booth. One of our, our known people that we've been buying from, obviously the production locker that seems to like never end, right? I see on the table and it says, B Wayne. And I'm like, B Wayne? Yeah, it doesn't really look like the, yeah, it doesn't really look like the typical folders that I would see where it says Warner Brothers or it says anything like that. And I open it and as soon as I opened it, I see a, a bat signal. Right? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dude, I was like, dude, we're going for Batman! And then I keep going a little further, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I look at this one. Oh. I had to do a little bit of my research, but this is like the 1970s Batman, and you don't find a lot of 70s animations still around. So I was really hyped to see it. I mean, it's how many just, How many papers do you think are in there? It's probably around like 200 wow. to 300. Wow. I mean, I roughly just grabbed. Thank goodness for my boy, Camel... Camel Crew Tony, yep. he gave me an opportunity to go grab some, it. yeah, to go in on it, and I was super hyped because I'm all about the animation side of things. As I get further into my collecting, it has been one of the things that I look for at all moments. And to cap it off, I, uh, I'm a huge Queen fan, and I kind of look at the table and I'm like, is that Freddie Mercury? And as I look, if you guys don't think that's Freddie Mercury, please let me know, but because the, the photo that he's in is a little bit suspect. A little bit, a little bit but I mean, during that time, I mean, that's kind of Freddie Mercury. Yeah, that's but Freddie Mercury. I am a huge Queen fan. This is definitely an original photo. You could tell but just by the print and everything on it, by the age, you just know that's Freddie Mercury. What's so. up with that other photo that I oh, you? Oh, yeah. I graciously gave it to you. Hey, honestly, homie, this is a homie deal I right here. I could tell when I picked it up, you were like, I want 1947, that. 1947, a Paramount Pictures water tower. And it's still there. My dad was telling me, he's like, oh yeah, it's like right outside where I'm working right now. And it, on the back, it has a certificate of authenticity as For well. For those of you haters who say it ain't real, wait, wait, <laughs> it's I'm upside down. Oh no. Oh, I'm always upside down on it. But honestly, my boy Rip hooked it up, and I this is a frame <laughs> one. It's just like, ah! <laughs> 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 go, doggy, go. Go, doggy, go. Go, doggy, go. Go, Taffy. She's a wild dog. Oh, run! Oh, whoa, she's fast. Santa's a little helper. Santa's a little helper. <laughs> Last item I'm gonna show you guys. I, I couldn't believe it. This is a. Uh it combines the worlds that we love, right? We love video game stuff. We love paper. We love movie related stuff. We love the weird, the hard to find. I couldn't believe it. I'm at a table filled with people, filled with people everywhere. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna find anything good. Everyone's kind of digging at the same booth. It's the same booth we've been talking about all day. And it was kind of towards the end. House of the Dead 2, Dead Aim. 
What's even crazier, and I'll show you guys some B-roll so you guys can see me, it says on here, which makes it so much cooler to me, based on the Sega video game series. This is combining the worlds that we love. This is the stuff you don't find. And what's even cooler, this is one of the first times we found a screenplay, a press kit, a kit, a storyboard. Well, with it is actually the crew list and the production list for the House of the Dead too. This is insane. Even cooler. Check this out. House of Dead 2, right there, the shooting days. Who's there? Alex, Ellis, Sergeant Justin, Private Gerald, everybody who's in here, even the pizza man, what days they're shooting, all of this. And we even see when this is. This is created on Wednesday, November 24th in 2000, 2004. Unbelievable. This is the kind of thing where when I walk out of the swap meet, I stand up, I stand tall, puff my chest out, show the boys, and everyone's just like jumping around like, wait, that's this day, this is, 20% of what we found. And we didn't film that day because Go Figure was supposed to rain, so we didn't and blah, 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 blah. But at least we have footage, B-roll, to show you guys throughout so that you guys know we're not lying. Can't believe it. Curtis, we did it. We won the internet, kinda, for a day. A really cool stuff. Honestly, share with us down below what your favorite find was of all of this. And if you guys have found any crazy stuff like this as well, because it's the stories we love to hear. Share with the community, share with us. We wanna hear it. Unreal. I can't even goof off right now. And I wanna goof off. Dang it. But I do. Just, oh. You wanna see? Taking a pause once again to say thank you to one of our longest running sponsors, Squarespace, a beautiful platform on which to create your websites. One of the best features about Squarespace is the custom merch. Easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production and inventory. And get this, shipping is handled for you, saving you time, money, and effort. Oh, and you know time is valuable. Also, Squarespace extensions. With Squarespace extensions, you can connect your store to vetted third-party tools to extend the functionality of your website. Ooh, and member areas. Monetize your content by selling membership access to exclusive sections of your website. Okay, I, I like that a lot. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's curried. Oh, Tappy attack, Tappy attack him. Attack, get him, get him, try to run for me. Oh, attack. <laughs> Get him! And... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, good dog. For my son! <laughs>